What's up guys, it's GWG again with another educational joint on this Subaru. Let's get right to it. Okay guys, we'll be replacing today the rear drums, shoes and leaking wheel cylinders on this uh, 2004 Subaru Forester. As you see the drums, I mean some people don't change the drums with the shoes but if yours look like that, it's a must. Okay, we go ahead, kick the tire a little bit, take it off. Okay, now we want to take the drum off. First thing to do, make sure the emergency brake is off. So we be able to take the drum off. And then you want to, it's, most of the time it's pain in the ass. So put in mind that you're going to have to do a lot of hammering here. You go right here, right in between the studs. Make sure you don't hit the studs so they don't go bad. If you're not good with the hammer, just put lug nuts on so you just hit the lug nuts, not the stud. Well, this one moved them lucky here. Okay, let's see if it comes off. Okay, you, you wanna wiggle it. You see this? Back and forth and then up and down. Right, left while pulling. You wiggle it while you pull it. Here you go, it's coming, it's coming. Here you go. You can pry a little bit, just gently, don't force it, just a little bit so they let go of the shoes. And once you get an opening here, this is the best spot. You go like this, see, it came right off. And then wiggle it a little bit, comes right off. Okay, and if you guys see what I mean by a leak in here, you can see fluid right there. Okay, let me get the phone off the tripod. Okay, you see this? This is brake fluid right there. See, everything is wet. And this is the wheel cylinder, of course, right here. This is the part you need. You can right there, brake fluid. So we're gonna be changing this, changing the shoes, and the drums. Okay, here's the tools that you need to do this job. You need a 3 8 ratchet with a three inch extension, 10 millimeter. That's for the wheel cylinder bolts. And then you need an eight millimeter wrench for the bleeder screw on the wheel cylinders. And then we needed the hammer to get the drum off. And this tool, I'll show you how it works later on in the video. This is called a drum brake adjuster. We'll see how we can adjust the drum brakes with it. And then a needle nose, a long cutter. I will probably need a small needle nose, a pick or a very skinny screwdriver, anti-seize and sandpaper. I'll show you also what to do with it later on. And of course, brake fluid to bleed the brakes at the end. Let's jump into it. I'll start with the top front spring with the long cutter. Just hold on it good. 
pull and then sometimes they be a little bit tough so you push this back and then pull on it here you go then it comes off before you guys take everything off I've been doing this for a long time so I don't have to take pictures no more but you better off take pictures because you got like three springs one two and three here and then you got some small pieces here and then you get the adjuster so you might forget where everything goes so just take a picture or just uh, set up everything on the floor the way they come out just like that like this one came from the top so you just put it on top and then the lower spring here whatever the shoes so you remember everything you know what I mean and also take a picture so we get the spring off okay now I'll get the bottom one off same same way pull on it and then it comes right off and then we gotta take these off what holds down the shoes it's a spring loaded and it has a pin that locks on the plate here on top of the spring so there is a tool for it that I'll link uh, I will put a link for in the description for it it's a cheap tool too but I just feel comfortable doing it with a wrench like a 15 millimeter wrench or whatever fits and a small needle nose you just hold the pin first you hold the pin push on it spin it that's it guys this gives a lot of people some problems but here you go very easy same thing here the other side You can see this kind of clip here. Here you go. So what you want to do is you want to just start to get something in between here, pry it open. If you can see, here you go, pry it open. Try to pry it open. Here you go, it's open up right now. It's a little pin pin S2, but sometimes it'd be easy. So and then you get a little bit uh a little bit bigger screwdriver and you continue prying. Now, with hopefully that helped. So what you're gonna do here is loosen up the hose just a little bit. Okay, it seems very tough, so I'm gonna keep going back and forth, like we said earlier, with the WD-40, let the WD-40 uh, get in between the threads. 
Okay, spray it down again. Okay, keep going back and forth until you feel no resistance. I mean, we're changing the wheel cylinder, but we still worry about the hose. We don't want to break uh, the nipple of the hose inside the wheel cylinder. This way, we gotta buy a new hose. Okay, let's try another turn. Sometimes the the wrench won't want to go on it because of the rust. So it's either get something to scrape it off or just keep, you know what I mean, wiggling it till it just goes on. In this case, it's a 14 millimeter, the brake line. Okay, that seems good. It's working out now. So if you guys see, I don't know if you guys can see. Okay, let me show you here, guys. There's the brake line here. In order to loosen off the wheel cylinder, we gotta uh, loosen the wheel, uh, the brake hose from here. And it's so rusted, so I don't want to do that. So I just got it loose. As you see, there's no much tension on it. It's just a little turn. And now we let this go now. Go back to the wheel cylinder. Okay. We get those uh, two 10 millimeter bolts here. Okay, 10 millimeter, three inch extension and a ratchet. Get it on. Okay, this one. Okay, this one was loose already. I mean, I'm lucky here. Okay, all right. I'll get this one completely off. Okay, that one's off. Here, get the second one off. Okay. Okay, so now both uh, bolts are out. Now we get the wheel cylinder out. Just a little bit out, so what I wanna do is, okay, let me change that view. Two 10 millimeters are out. What I wanna do, so I don't have to take the hose off from here, I wanna take the wheel cylinder out, which is a little bit stuck, so you get something, pry on it. A little bit, until it comes off. Oh man, that's stuck right there. Okay, I'll get a hammer. Maybe, here we go. So as you see, okay, it moved. Here we go, all right? So we got it out. So what I wanted to do is, I'm gonna hold the hose from the back, like I'll show you in a second. As you can see, if you see it here, that's the 14 millimeters. So I'm gonna put a wrench on it so it doesn't move. Okay, maybe from the back here. Okay, so it's hand loose now. So 
so just hand loosen it make sure you get the the new one right next to you because you don't want to lose a lot of fluid so once the old one comes off as you can see also the fluid is not dripping as much because i left the cap on the brake fluid cap on so this way you have less gravity so the fluid won't leak right away but if i take the cap off you'll see it just going down because we don't want to have hard time bleeding it so just put right away the new cylinder you see here just like that the threads are good you see it's spinning by itself here you go and then hold it here you go here you go keep spinning it until it gets snug okay 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 all right okay so for now we gotta tighten the hose this way so i gotta put it with a little spin first so when i go ahead and tighten it so here you go so when i go ahead and tighten it it straightens right out because when i spin when i tighten it it will just be straight again so now we put the two 10 millimeters in the back So we get the new wheel cylinder on before we put the new shoes we have to clean the six contact points between the shoes and the backing plate so you get a safety glasses i'll be using a wheel grinder if you don't have one you still can use a 20 or 40 grit sandpaper After grinding the contact points, get the anti seize. We apply a light coat. You don't need too much, just a light coat on all six. We also want to clean the threads for the adjuster here so we take it out the way you take it out it's reverse threads so clockwise it loosen it up here you go my threads are clean yours might be a little rusty so get a, a wire brush and clean them off and then same thing just a light coat of any seas Put it back together you go 
anti-clockwise to put it back together here you go you want to hold this wheel here just like that and you keep spinning all the way almost all the way anyway you will do adjustment later okay here you go start with the rear shoe here hook it to the emergency brake cable here gear clip stick it in the groove like that and then I'll be using a plier to close the clip up kind of tricky to hold it here you go closed up okay I'll see you later make sure it's closed all the way like that here as you can see Put the shoe back. Make sure it spins freely. Okay, now put it back on. Slide it in a wheel cylinder, and the bottom gotta go right here, just like that. Get your pin. Always change the hardware. It's just my parts store doesn't have it, and the customer needs the car right away. That's why I'll be using the old ones. They're in, still in good condition, but always change it. Okay, get the spring and the holding plate here. Line up uh, the plate with the pin, just like that. And if you can push it with your hand and twist it like that, okay. If you can't, you can use the wrench and the needle nose way that I showed you. So I got this on here. Now I go ahead. I'll hang this here for the adjuster right there install the rear spring the top spring I'm sorry so here as you can see we got to a skinny one and a little bit bigger one so we put the skinny one this way in the back here okay Then I get the adjuster. It goes here. Like that here. Okay. I get the front shoe now. I hook it up to the spring. It goes here and then just pull it a little bit line it up with the wheel cylinder here and with the adjuster right there here you go now we get the the pen and the spring for the other side okay pass it in the shoe hold it in the back Get your plate, line it up. Here you go. Make sure it's nice and tight. Here you 
go. Okay. Get the adjuster on, the rear spring on. Go ahead now, put the front spring. It goes here. And then I'll get the long cutter or whatever works for you. Pull it. Make sure you have glasses while doing this. Because spring sometimes comes flying. So we got the two springs with the adjuster, everything on top is just missing. One lower spring here, very easy to do. Make sure the shoe all the way in. Get your spring, hook it on, like that here. Get your color. Pull it up, pull it, and hook it up. Here you go. Before you put the new drum on, make sure to spray it down with the parts, uh, brake parts cleaner or soap and water to get that rust free coating off. Go ahead. Here you go. Okay. Now we need to adjust it. So for the adjustment, I'll be using this adjuster tool. I'll post the link in the description for it. And there is a small slot in the back here for the adjuster. Okay. You wanna go ahead. and spin it clockwise. I wish I can show you this in a video, but I can't. So spin it, try it out. Okay, it's getting a little bit tight. I need a little more. Here you go, here you go. You want it? nice and tight not too tight though it moves freely but you can feel it's adjusted okay let's wrap this car up by bleeding the brakes so you want to make sure that the reservoir here is full all the way with brake fluid you want to go slowly Okay, that's good. Leave the cap off. There is two ways to bleed the brakes. There is a tool, it's called one man brake bleeder tool. I'll post the link in the description. Or you can use the old way. You have your buddy pumping the brakes inside the car while you bleed uh, the bleeder screw here. So you wanna get eight millimeter. There are two ways to bleed the brakes. You can do it yourself using one man brake bleeder tool. I'll post the link in the description. Or you can go the old way. You use a buddy, he's pumping the brakes in the car while you bleed here. So I did a video on how to bleed it and then realized uh, the camera wasn't recording. So I apologize about that. But I'll give you an idea till I make a video. I'll make a special video on how to bleed the brakes, but for now I'll give you an idea. So make sure the reservoir is full in the front. Have your body pump the brakes while you have the bleeder still closed. Right here you can see it. This right here, eight millimeter bleeder screw. So once it's still tight, let him pump it a couple times, like three, four times, and then he holds it while he's holding you go ahead open up the bleeder so you're gonna see a lot of bubbles coming out with some fluid make sure you have uh, something to catch the fluid here because brake fluid is toxic so close it back let him pump again 
and then hold, loosen rub, till you can see no more uh, bubbles coming out. Just a stream of uh, brake fluid, just a stream, straight stream, no more bubbles. And this is it, should be bled.